a lot of the work that I do now is, is definitely at night time, so I've naturally become a night owl. All my sort of best ideas come to me at night. So here it will be melting the chocolate to get the, the initial paint. Chocolate is my paint today. This is always the fun part. Temptation to eat it is always insane. The thing with chocolate is that it burns so easy in the microwave, so you have to keep watching it. Um, and it smells a lot nicer than normal paint as well, so it's quite, it's quite good fun to use. It's probably the nicest smell and paint I could possibly ever have. <laughs> Nathan's been commissioned to create a piece of art which will be unveiled at the opening of a brand new shop. So this is going to be a portrait of Lord Alan Sugar, created using very sugary things, obviously. Um, we have chocolate and then I'll be applying sweets as well. So it's really good fun. I love using food, obviously, and sweets is definitely one of the coolest things to use because so many vibrant colours and different things. One thing with the melted chocolate is that it dries extremely quickly after you melt it, so I'll kind of have to rush to get it onto the, onto the canvas before it goes solid again. Alan Sugar is going to be attending the launch and unveiling of this portrait, so it's always exciting and nerve-wracking for me to know that the actual subject is going to see the portrait. tired I am Jim and what time I go to bed. I hardly ever sleep more than five and a half to six hours. I recently managed bedtime at 10.30 one Describing night. what I do, I'd probably say that I was a pop culture portrait artist that specializes in using unconventional materials. I think this works because it is, it is so unconventional and um, it lends itself to so many different things. Adverts for different companies, sort of publicity stunts, um, album covers, restaurant launches, and it's just a little bit different to a th traditional painting. Okay, so the next stage is getting all my sweets and attaching them to the portrait. The original love for drawing faces sort of came from my artistic um, influence, Andy Warhol. He had a huge love for people, um, in particularly celebrities. He was quite sort of celebrity obsessed. So um, I've always sort of loved people's facial features and different things like that. So getting to draw them for a living is, is just a perfect fit for me. It started off as just pencil drawings and then I saw a newspaper headline about Simon Cowell that said you either love him or hate him. So the original idea with food art came from Marmite, so I decided to make his portrait using Marmite. Nathan uploaded a video of himself creating his masterpiece and it made his name by going viral. That had such a great reaction online and I gathered quite a few followers and things over the years from that initial video that I realised that maybe this is something I could go into sort of professionally. The amazing thing um, with social media and the internet is that anyone in the entire world get, gets to see what I do. I've been selling pieces of, of my work all around the globe since I was about 18, which is, which is pretty amazing, sort of astonishing for me to even still think about now, actually, that it's been my full-time career for such a, a long time. Working at night definitely benefits me. There's been times where I've woken up in the middle of the night to see sort of a news bulletin um, about sort of the passing of a, a certain celebrity, even recently Stephen Hawking. Um, so my mind started to go crazy creatively, so I decided to wake up there and then at 4 a.m. in the morning and make a portrait. People have said to me that they actually see a breaking news story first through my artwork. The video of that was online within about four hours of the news breaking. 
so it's almost like I'm acting as a source of news as well. When I'm working at night time, I lose myself in the work. I never really pay attention to how long I'm spending or what the time is. I work until I'm too tired to work anymore. I like the calm and the peace of working at night. There's not much else going on in the world. And after six hours of work on his sugary sugar, Nathan calls it a night. OK, so I think that's pretty much it for this now. It's just a couple of layers to add to it, just to thicken it up a little bit. But I'm feeling pretty confident about it. I think it's really fun, colourful, vibrant and, yeah, quite delicious. So I think everybody will be really pleased with it.